biggest problems with, with virtual reality right now is you're, you're immersed in this world and you're there, you're in full 3D, you feel like you're there, uh, but then you look down and, and you don't have hands, you, you don't have a body. Um, it's something where you, you actually can't interact with it. And so having a, a Mayo in this environment really helps because you can actually put the hands in the game. So this is Chris here, he's inside of our Oculus Rift demo. This is a, a very early preview of what can be done by combining these two technologies. Um, you'll notice that when Chris moves his arms in real life, his arms will move in the game, and that's exactly what he sees uh, on the Oculus Rift headset. Uh, so this is something that provides that extra layer of immersiveness to the game or to uh, the content that he's looking at. He's able to actually have his hands in there. An average video game, you're sitting on your couch and you're, you're kind of taken outside of the game. Like You do kind of get into it after maybe three hours of gameplay, but you know, this one, it takes like five seconds for you to be like deep inside of the game and almost forget where you are. So that's, that's totally different compared to other video games. The Oculus Rift allows me to enter this world where, you know, I look around and I'm in an environment that, you know, I'm, I'm not actually in. And I look down and thanks to the Mayo, I, you know, I have my arms in here as well. You know, I can make a fist and it makes a fist. Same with the other side. And now it allows me to do some like pretty wild things. Like, for example, I can hang on to this lightning bolt and I can shoot it off to the distance. You know, same on the other hand, I can go like that. I can go crazy and shoot even more. It just like it brings me into this world that I've you know never been in, and it's it's pretty wild. <laughs>